Hi, this is the video for Unit 1. Um, and in this brief video, I just want to um, introduce what you'll be doing this week um, and uh, set you up for the assignments that you'll be submitting. So this week, we're going to start off with um, sort of the most fundamental question of the course, um, which is thinking about your next moves, whether those be um, applying for jobs, uh, pursuing graduate training, or something else, or some combination of the two. I've already talked in the welcome video about my approach to this course, which is a sort of reverse engineering, where you think down the line about where you'd like to end up, ultimately, um, and you sort of work back from there. You figure out what things you need to do now and into the future to get you to that, um, that more long-term goal. I think that's really important, and we'll be talking a lot about that throughout the course. Um, but I also want to... Um, to have you reflecting on sort of where you are right now, particularly as you approach a really important um, juncture, an important milestone in your life, um, which is completing a bachelor's degree. Um, the, one of the premises of this course is that um, the students who are enrolled in it are getting close to graduation and starting to sort of, um, even as you're still working on courses and sort of finishing up those requirements, start to plan for and even act on what, what you're gonna do afterwards. Um, so what we're going to start with this week then, um, even as I have you sort of setting your sights on what is down the road, um, is really um, reflecting on what you have um, learned and accrued in terms of skills, perspectives, experiences, etc. Um, throughout the course of your work on your bachelor's degree. Okay. Um, so you're not going to be doing any readings this week. Um, I want you primarily to um, start the process of reflecting on your own path up to now um, and how you might start to think about it as, again, a sort of set of skills um, that you could present to others, again, either in job applications or in um, graduate school statements of purpose, um, as more than just the one line on a resume that says bachelor's degree in X field from Northeastern Illinois University. Too often I see students sort of reduce the bachelor's degree experience to that one line. That, don't get me wrong, that one line is important. The credential of the bachelor's degree is a huge accomplishment um, and something you should all be really proud to be in the process of completing. And you definitely want that line on your resume um, and you want to reference it in your statement of purpose. Um, but I think you can also break it down into a lot of component parts that are also worth highlighting. And that's the primary work and exercise you're going to be um, engaging in this first week of the, of the course. Okay. So if you look on the syllabus, you'll see that, um, you know, in addition to the sort of welcome stuff, the welcome video, reading the syllabus, looking at D2L, etc., um, you have a, a couple of tasks for this week. First is just to introduce yourself. That's the very first discussion. Um, please do that um, and respond to your, your classmates. Um, we're a full class, which is excellent, and we've got students from a whole range of disciplines in the course, which will, I think, really allow for some fruitful discussions um, and useful just networking among yourselves. So um, it would be great to hear from all of you about who you are, where you're coming from, your interests, your um, major fields, anything you want to share. Um, so please do that. The more substantive exercise for this first week is discussion two. Um, and what you're going to be doing in discussion two is what I was just alluding to, um, which is um, writing up a list of all of the skills that you can articulate as having you, you having derived from doing a bachelor's degree. Okay. So in other words, I want you to think about what are all the sort of subunits um, that are worthy in and of themselves that you could talk about um, and claim, um, again, as you're taking next steps toward a career. Um, so some of those skills, experiences, abilities, accomplishments um, could be very specific. Um, for example, those of you in natural science fields may have learned some very specific lab techniques that you want to put on that list, right? Um, some of them may be broader um, and more generally applicable. For example, 
if your major and all the coursework you've done at Northeastern or whatever the, the universities are that you've attended included a lot of writing um, and you feel like you've really uh, developed strong writing skills, that's a huge skill set, absolutely one to put on the list. Likewise, things like uh, doing research, analyzing data, um, processing complex material like um, doing a lit review, right? Um, all of those things, which we sort of just um, consider to be sort of rolled into the bachelor's degree, are extraordinarily important and frankly quite rare skills that you have now, right? Part of what we're going to be working on subsequently is how to articulate that, right? So yeah, saying saying to your um, your potential employer, I can put together a mean lit review. Um, that may not be the way to do it because they may not know what that means, um, and it may not be as impressive as it um, as it actually is, right? Or it may not sound as impressive as it actually is. Um, but being able to say, you know, I'm able to um, read a lot of complex material, synthesize it, um, and write concisely um, about what's in there um, is incredibly important. Um, so, um, so that is sort of the crux of what I'm hoping we can get out of that this exercise, this dis discussion to exercise. So all you're going to do for this discussion is literally put together a list um, of as many different skills as you can um, identify um, that you have uh, been able to develop by virtue of your time working on a bachelor's degree. They can be everything from tiny and very specific to much broader. Try to be as exhaustive as you can with the list. Not everything you identify in that list is going to make it into your ultimate resume or statement of purpose. But it's a good idea to start with sort of um, doing a kind of inventory, right, of um, you know, what, what's at least on the table. And then you can sort of choose which of those you want to highlight or emphasize um, as important to, again, the profile that you're putting forward, um, again, whether it's in a job search or, or in the application project uh, process for graduate school. So um, we're going to start out pretty straightforward here. Um, it's it's not a lot for this first week. Mainly I want you to reflect and start thinking about where you're at, what you've done, um, and we'll really next time um, dig in even, or next week, next unit, um, dig in even more deeply to thinking about what all of those experiences reveal to you about um, what you like and what you're good at um, and what you want to spend your time doing. I think it's really important throughout all of this that uh, we consider this process to be um, sort of taking stock um, of who you are um, and what you have accomplished and what you want to accomplish. But as part of that, also, what excites you? Um, what uh, makes you want to go work on a course or work on a project and ultimately work in a career. Um, so it's beyond just something that you have facility for. It's also about satisfaction, um, finding something that feels meaningful, that feels worthwhile. Um, so as you're thinking about all these skills, you know, you might also start to think about not only what you can do, but which of those things are the most um, exciting. Um, and sa satisfying to you. Do you, you? you may have done a lot of writing. Do you like writing, right? Do you like engaging with language? Um, or are you more satisfied dealing with um, sort of quantitative material, numbers, right? I think figuring those things out is really important. Um, and when we get into next week, um, you'll also be doing some exercises to really think about that. Who am I and how does what I've done and what I want to do um, sort of fit together? with my personality, with my experience, my background, all of those things, okay? So um, I'm really looking forward to seeing the list you come up with um, for discussion two. Um, we'll debrief about that um, later in this first week of the course. Um, again, as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to send me an email. I will be starting my office hours this week, or we're calling them student hours, just to make it clear that um, those are hours when I am available for you, the students. Um, so uh, please feel free also, if you're so inclined, to pop into my student hours on Monday or Tuesday, um, uh, and I'd be happy to talk further with you about what we're doing in the course. 
Um, so good luck starting off the semester and um, 